Hey, Vanessa, uh, w when did you uh, figure out that you loved weed? I think the first time I knew I loved weed was when I had an orgasm on weed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that's a very literal loving of weed, which is great. I'm, I fully endorse that. Los Angeles is home to some of the best Mexican food in the country, so this is the perfect place to have my cannabis-infused taco dinner party. My friend Rye Pritchard, who's a cannabis infusion and extraction specialist, is going to be helping us out with the cannabis side of things. This is already active, so anybody that eats this is getting a little dose of crystalline CBD. And Vanessa from Marigold Sweets is going to be helping us on the food end. I think cannabis is going to microdosing. For sure. And for this meal, we're enlisting Wes Avila, the owner of Gorilla Tacos, one of the most celebrated taco trucks in Los Angeles. We're going to go try some of his tacos and plan out the menu for the party. I think I'll do the, uh, the Chubbs taco um, and uh, agua fresca. And I will do one soft shell shrimp taco and one Chubbs taco. Agua. Amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Cheers. Do you want right. to dig in? Yeah, let's do it. Grab that chubs. Oh, yeah. All right. Got a mint leaf there, too. Yeah. Oh, man, this shrimp taco has mint leaves, like, all over it. Oh, my oh, God. Good, that is insane. This crispy egg is the shit. Yeah? Yeah. Dude, those tacos were absolutely amazing, man. Really, really inventive stuff. Like, what are you thinking in terms of dishes? Like, how would we get weed into which tacos? I can probably use it in, in different sauces and maybe go, like, mild, medium, hot, and then kind of coincides with, like, potency. That's perfect. You know, mild, medium, and stronger. So yeah. definitely do something like that. Maybe a pork belly kind of with caviar, or, like, I can get or these big, you know, surf clams, do them raw, like a ceviche, sort of in the, in the oh, shell, man. you know, with a little bit of oil. Oh, man, yeah, you can marinate it in the medicated yeah. oil, maybe. For so sure. pork belly, clams, that sounds incredible. And maybe do one more, like a vegetarian kind of feel to it. That's and maybe perfect. even like a, maybe we can do like an ajo fresca or something with infused the salt with a little bit of cannabis or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, you know, with the agave, uh, with honey, you can medicate that and, and infuse it in there. And we have like some crazy CBD crystals you can like put around the rim. Yeah, sounds like a plan. This is gonna be an amazing taco party. <laughs> Let's find, like, the creepiest piñata. Yeah. That way when people are super high, they just, like, bug out. Man, there is a lot of variety here. Oh, look at the giraffe. Oh, he's cute. So you've been treating yourself with medical cannabis for, like, two years now or something, right? Yeah, two and a half years, actually. And immediately I was like, yo, Abdullah, what can I get in my body to slow the shit down? And yet, it's been two years. I mean, most people who have ALS have progressed a lot in that much time, but you're still walking around and talking. And... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy. You'll see after we smoke this joint, like, my voice will be stronger and, like, I'll speak easier. It's, it's insane what cannabis does. And I can't even imagine, like, just having this disease without the flowers. I eat it, I dose with it, I rub it into my muscles, like yeah. weed on deck. <laughs> and it works. Here we are picking out a pinata to Picking smash out together. some like creepy ass pinata. Oh my god, he's hideous. Looks like he should be arrested. All right, All right. I, I think, think uh... <laughs> yeah, we found we found our We've pinata. Decided. What's up, man? What's up, man? Let me ask you something. Why is there only one of those, or there's only one like it in the entire store. <laughs> That's the best seller, I guess. That's the last one I probably have. You do have lots of great candy, but the candy we want to put in our pinata is going to be infused with cannabis. Do you smoke cannabis? 
All the time. Yeah? Nice. Awesome. All right. And uh, actually, it's going to be uh, a cannabis-infused taco party. Would you like to come to dinner, actually? Yeah. And we'll have some tacos. We'll break yeah. a pinata. We'll eat some edibles. We'll smoke some weed. Yeah. Yeah. You down? Sounds good. Sounds good. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. We have, like, a little joint if you want to go smoke real quick. Smoke into the elephant's mouth. Try to get it high. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot oh, we were like doing stuff. No, no, you're supposed to get you're supposed to get too high on this show. That's like the whole point. All right, after you. Oh, thank you. Then the pinata. How's it going? It's going good. I'm just gonna set that right there. Can you help us fill this thing up? Yes, absolutely. Sounds like quite the party. Yeah, it's gonna be insane. Uh, what do you got that we can put in here? See, what will work perfect in your pinata? The Sensi Chews, they come in sativa, indica, and there's an amore, too, for the after party. Um, we also have cannabis-infused gummies that come in indica and sativa. And under your clown head here, we have the Chiba Chews in the corner. They, too, come in an indica, sativa, and hybrid. Oh, yeah, the classics. Mm -hmm. And there's a CBD one, too. Anything else look good? Oh, yeah, we also have these Kivos, personal favorite indica dominant hybrid chocolates. Um, and since you did bring up CBD, the Kivos also have a one to one ratio chocolate bar, too. That is a pro tip. If you find yourself over medicated with THC and you're uncomfortable, CBD will actually block the receptors in your brain that processes a psychoactive effect. Yeah, so that's, mellow out. that's a crazy thing. Literally, there is a substance like in cannabis itself that counteracts that high. So if you're like too stoned, you can just take it and get less stoned. I mean, that's kind of miraculous, you know? Okay, awesome. Give me like 50 of each of the things you mentioned and I think we're good to go. You got it. Awesome. Oh my God, yeah, let's get that thing inside. Let's get it going. All right, so Wes, you met Rye before, right? Yeah, man. Good good and see you again. this is Vanessa. She's going to hey, be working Vanessa. with us in the nice kitchen meet. today. Um, first off, Wes, do you want to break down what you have planned? Yeah. So we have um, first taco is going to be a roasted pork shoulder. It's got a little bit of caviar, charred habanero, and serrano chile. And then we have a tostada that I'm going to do, kind of like a, a take on a ceviche with razor clams. Oh, razor clams. Huh? Razor clams, yeah. The uh, surf clams were not in season. It's gonna have razor clams, gooseberries, tomatoes, uh, rock tomatillo chile, a little bit of wasabi oil and some herbs. And then the last one is a, a mushroom taco. I got matsutake mushrooms, brown beach mushrooms, and that's gonna go with a burnt tomato chile with a little bit of pine nuts and papaya agua fresca. Amazing. Yeah, we can do something with that. Well, I can't wait to try every dish we just talked about. It sounds incredible. And do you want to blaze a little bit before um, you get started? I think I just need to get focused and tackle this stuff and make sure it gets done so I can actually cook for you guys' this party. Sounds good. This is a really simple chili. So I got these tomatillos milpero, which is a different variety of tomatillos. They're like a much smaller kind of Creole style. Raw ingredients. It needs a lot of punch to cut through all the fatness of the clam. And this is some lime juice. You guys want to taste? Oh, yeah. It's a little spicy, so. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so good. It's got some potency on there. So uh, do we want to do THC or CBD or both? Well, I, I think, think if the drink is CBD, yeah. then the salsa should be THC. Yeah, let's do it. This bottle is our THC-infused olive oil. There's 400 milligrams of THC in here. We're gonna use about half of this. I am gonna do the roast tomato chili. This one is for the, the mushrooms. And I'm just cooking these till they're pretty roasted. That smells amazing. It's so easy, like the sauces that I make are just a lot of times four ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna blend the tomato salsa first. Remember, we have the serrano chiles and we have a little bit of garlic. So I'm just scraping off the fun from the tomatoes to get all that flavor in there. Don't lose it. This is going to be one gram of oil, uh, which converts to 100 milligrams of THC. So five milligrams per person, nice and light. So next, I'm going to do the serrano and charred habanero, and I'm putting the rest of that lime juice.
This one's really spicy, guys. It's the one that cleared house. I'm scared I already coughed at the last one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the caramel made you cough on that one, huh? Flavor's good. So uh, for the medium, we did three grams, right? Right. Yeah, so I think for the spiciest, we should just, uh, let's go up to four. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. It's good to go. The next step in planning this party is getting a nice, fun smokable for everybody to enjoy after we're done eating tacos. And for that, I hit up my homies at Artisan Can of Cigars. Can I roll one of these with you guys? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, cool. I'm gonna slide over here with you real yep. quick. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in and form using a small portion. See how I'm lipping the base? Yeah. That's allowing it to start off as the mouthpiece. All right, so I'll keep this going. Wow, not as easy as it looks. No, yeah, honestly, man, my first cigar that I ever made, it took me six months to roll. All right, well, we're going to be out on this balcony for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and these things burn slow as hell, right? Very slow. Quarter inch per hour is kind of what you're looking at, generally. All right, so then you're basically going to be using that hash right there right. as glue, right? Exactly, exactly. So I'm heating it up from afar. I don't want to apply direct heat to it because I don't want to burn away any, any terpenes. Any of the flavor, Pretty right? much. I want to keep all the flavor maintained within its structure. I just want to get it nice and gooey, and then that's actually going to turn into an adhesive for us. Exactly. All right, here we go. What I'll do is what I go over is I just keep on smothering it. Wow, beautiful. So this right here is sieved hash. It's all that sticky THC powder you see on the outside of the plant, right? Exactly. We're going to weigh out a half gram of sift. So what I have here is a straightener just to get a little bit of heat going on, a little bit more than the hands can do. So this is uh, honestly my favorite part. What you're going to do is you're kind of just going to roll it after it's been pressed. We'll get it steady on there yeah. and then roll it back. Wow. Yep. There you go, man. Look at that. Little it's a technique. weed taco. How do we get those leaves on there? This looks like it's going to be the hardest part. What we're doing is we're sectioning off leaves here. This is that mouthpiece that I was explaining. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is you're making sure it's smothered, picking your end that you want to be the mouthpiece, going inward. And I usually just spin it and twirl it until I poke a hole. And then here's what you're going to want to do is follow it up after with the main leaf. You wrap it in a barber pole fashion. Yeah. So right. Candy came all, all, all the same concepts. So, so you I want mean, that layering to just keep going kind yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Beautiful. This is a little trade secret of ours. Once it's actually like done and we're unraveling it, that is already hardened and solidified down. Are right, we going to snip it? That's it. Yeah. And then, do you guys have a finished one that we can try out right now? For sure. sure do. Absolutely. Bro. Yeah, you know, after all that work, let's sit down for a minute, take a load off. Man, how satisfying it is to unroll one of these things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and it just sort of slides out. Oh, man. And what we're left with is the most beautiful cannabis cigar. There you go. roast that end. Eat there it exactly. is, yeah. It literally starts to bellow out the back. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful view. Yeah, it really is. Oh, man. All right. So what you're going to do is give it a puff, 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 and then a deep inhale. Yep. You got it. Wow. <laughs> that is delicious. Uh, right now, I'm just going to kind of lightly cook the, the clams to be able to take them out of the shell so we can make the ceviche. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. Let them cool. Make sure they're nice and clean. Now I'm just removing the money spot. Like this is all, all of it's completely edible. This is what I want to use for the actual ceviche. What you can see like now, they're, they're nice and clean, they're nice and cooked, and the, the texture on them is pretty awesome. They got a nice bite. So this is Santa Barbara sea urchin. So what I'm gonna do is trying to crack, crack the shell. This is a really simple way of, of cracking sea urchin. I don't have a cracker, so. I'm gonna be using this for the tostada. I'm putting this on top of the clams. We, we just brought a couple extra because we had them and might as well use them. So each, each shell has about five tongues. These are pretty nice. So we have the leaves, and there's not really a psychoactive property to them, but you know they, they have a really good shiso flavor. So what were you thinking 
What I want to do is cut it down to portions like this and put it on top of the uni on the tostada. And then on top of the leaf, I'd like to put a little bit of the, uh, is it the Maui Waui? Yeah, so we have these uh, Maui Waui terpenes. Um, so we're gonna kind of, you know, soak the leaves in that a little bit to give it a little more aromatic. So when people bring the tostada up to their nose, they're gonna have an incredible mm -hmm. uh, aroma. So can you just explain in a nutshell what agua fresca is? It's basically it translates to fresh water. You can do it with pretty much any fruit. Uh, we're using papaya because the papayas looked awesome at the market today. Nice. And then you saw exactly how we do it. Simple syrup, a little bit of lime, a little bit of CBD. Definitely a party. Mm -hmm. It should be ready to go. I hope you guys are ready to get super stoned and super full of amazing cannabis-infused Mexican food. So what we have here is a uh, papaya agua fresca. And what we did is we infused uh, some CBD honey into the simple syrup to make this. And then around the rim, we have a mix of CBD crystal and some Durban Haze terpenes to give you some aromatics while you drink it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what's, the, uh, what's the Mexican cheers? Uh, Salud. 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 Definitely a good papaya. Almost did a good job yeah. on that. Yeah, it was yeah. super rich. Super tasty, yeah. It tastes so good right. when you're high. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First, we have this clam tostada. It has raw tomatillo chile, gooseberries, tomatoes, sea urchin, and some furukake. The leaf that you see on top is a fresh cannabis leaf. We uh, dripped some Maui Waui terpenes onto it for some aromatics. So for the medium, we did three grams, right? Yeah, that's the, uh, yeah, so that's the medium salsa. Holy shit, this is incredible. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. So now I have your masutake mushrooms. It's got beach mushrooms, red pepper escabeche, the burnt tomato chile, which we also infused a little bit of... Uh... The dosing on this is really light. This was our mildest salsa, so it was also our uh, lightest dose. I mean, this is like five milligrams or less per person. Very small. It's got feta. It's got a little bit of uh, pine nuts. This is the first time I ever have a, a matataki. Yeah, yeah. Mushroom in the taco, and it's pretty awesome, pretty beefy. Yeah, it's super meaty. It's also really cool to see it in a serious way from, like, serious chefs like Wes. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, we're off to a good start. How does everyone feel? My body is stoned. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I didn't really smoke or use cannabis until about two and a half years ago um, when I was diagnosed with ALS. I actually went to Abdullah and I was like, yo, like, tell me everything I need to know. And, um, Together, we kind of like found some inf information about THC and CBD and the different effects that they could have on the disease, especially because there is no treatment or cure. THC is like a really big part of pain management. And then CBD during the day actually loosens up your muscles which is what happens when you get ALS. Like, your muscles tighten, and then you can't move them. Eventually, it's paralysis and death. And I genuinely believe, like, it slowed down the progression of the disease. I feel like I'm doing really well compared, like, to other people who started at the same point. Yeah, we went pinata shopping yesterday and bought a yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah. You're coasting. You're coasting. So for your last taco, we got a roasted pork shoulder with caviar, the charred habanero chile, a little bit of chives. And this one is the, the spiciest and also the most potent. This is that, uh, this is the fire one right here. So I hope you guys like spicy food. The, the dosing, I mean, I, you know, again, you get a, a little bit different amounts of this, but this one was intended to be like 10 milligrams per person. This is also the pork that we glazed with the honey that we had on the plancha. Got a little bit of crispiness, a little bit of sweetness. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so Thank much, you. Wes. Yeah. Hey, a round of applause for Wes. Yeah. yeah. Good shit, dude. The crispiness is like perfect. What'd you do to get that pork so crispy, Wes? Just the plancha? Just on the plancha and then glaze it. 
a little oh, bit man. of butter. Proper. It's like the spiciest you can get without it being like too overwhelming. Guys, this has been an incredible dinner. Right. <laughs> 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 All right, so I've got a little after dinner treat for us. That's something really special from Artisan Canna Cigars. It's a cigar that's all cannabis. It's flour, and then it's wrapped with cannabis leaves. And they bury them for a month, right? Oh, no. And then after a month, you open them up, and then you smoke it. And it's one of the greatest <laughs> smokable things you'll ever have in your life. And I've got one right here. All right, guys, so we've got one last element to the night to close out our fiesta. We've got this ridiculous pinata that me and Angelina bought yesterday. It's filled with some really fun stuff. This is a weed party, so if you figure it out. Let's go beat the shit out of this pinata, right? Yeah. Oh. How does it feel to, you know, sell so many pinatas and then finally be responsible for destroying one, huh? Come on, Tony! Yeah. Oh, shit, the blood's been oh, destroyed! No. Where's the blood? Oh, no. oh, yeah. Thanks, Angelina, for buying this pinata with me. Thanks, Tony, for selling us this insane haunted pinata that definitely just released demons into the Bon Appetit house. And thank you, everyone, for coming through and eating and smoking with us. Bon Appetit, guys. OK. Can you see me? No, I can't see. Uh, oh, bon, all right, I'll say it before I swing on this. Bon Appetit. Is it still in front of me? Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Oh, bon appetit! <laughs> bon appetit! Oh,